Chapter 4 Mary My life has always been a quiet one. I grew up in Nazareth in the same house where I was born, with the same friends, the same familiar view of the surrounding hills, and the picture in my head of what my future would look like when I had a family of my own. But ever since an angel of God visited me, my simple life has been turned upside down. I still don't understand it all, but one thing I know for sure, I am blessed. God has chosen me, just an ordinary girl, to be part of his extraordinary plan. The angel Gabriel's news fills me with so much joy that I simply have to sing. My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God my Saviour. He has taken note of me, even though I am not considered important. From now on, all people will call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me. His name is Holy. I think I'll be singing songs of thanks and praise to God right up to the moment this child is born, and every day after that. I know I'm young, but I'm so excited to be a mother, to hold my son in my arms, to hear him speak his first words, and see him take his first steps, to play hide and seek with him in the olive groves. I haven't met him yet, but I already love him. I don't know how being a mother to God's son will be different from raising any other child, but I'm excited to find out. I know that even though what lies ahead will be wonderful, it will be difficult too. Joseph will be a good father to our child. God has provided well for my family, but I'm holding especially tight to the last words Gabriel said to me. Nothing is impossible with God. I've always known in my heart that this was true. But now what seems impossible is actually happening to me. My life may have been turned upside down, but it's God's way of turning the world right side up again, of drawing people back to himself. Yes, I am blessed. I just hope that when I tell Joseph, he feels the same way. <laughs>